Hey, it's uh, Coach Taylor here from Smarter Team Training. I uh, actually had a chance to uh, meet up with Coach Dose on, uh, online, and uh, we agreed to do a, an audio interview for STT. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time, and uh, looking forward to sharing some insights here with what you have going on. I know you're, you're reaching out to a lot of people, uh, doing a lot of things. I really compliment you. I know you have the first annual uh, pub crawl here for uh, the, um, I believe it's the Humane Society with the dogs, and uh, supporting that. I think it's great. Um, can you give me a little bit about your, about your background and some of the things you have going on uh, even outside the industry before we even start talking about uh, talking about what you're doing inside the field? Well, absolutely. Well, first, thanks for having me, Coach. Uh, it's, it's always great to, to, to talk to, to coaches in the trenches and, and, and talk a little shop. Uh, yeah, um, I basically, uh, just a quick background, I, uh, I did my undergrad at uh, University of California, Berkeley. I played football there, and that's kind of where I got my first start, my love, uh, and my understanding of strength and conditioning with my, my, my first mentor, was Robin Pound, who's our strength and conditioning coach. And, He's the one that basically taught me that uh, you know that what, what what we do you know what you and I do now for a living now is 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 kind of an art and a science at the same time. So that really intrigued me, and, and I was actually a history major, social science major, and uh, and at that point after graduation, I said I really need to get into this field. So I went and prerequed a bunch of classes to get into a kinesiology master's degree, and that came back down uh, home in Southern California. I went to Cal State University Northridge and got my kinesiology degree there. Uh, and then from that point on, just kind of, you know, this was, this was uh, you know, late 80s, you know, 1989, 1990, and, um, you know, compared to what we do today, obviously it's very, very different, but that's, that's, that's been kind of the, the, the awesome journey, you know, over the past 20-some years, and uh, just kind of learning and changing and tweaking and, and understanding what we do, and I think that's the greatest thing about, you know, what we do is that uh, it's just a, it's, it's, it's constantly evolving, we're constantly changing, learning different ways, better ways to, to reach our goals. So. Uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of my, my quick background. I'm at I'm at a community college here, uh, College of the Canyons here in Southern California. We have a great uh, school here, great college, uh, great athletics. Um, it's a great environment for our kids, and it's very rewarding, obviously, with what I do. But uh, yeah, you mentioned the pub crawl being you know, a part of what we do. I have CoachDose.com is my website, and we have a, a membership site, and we've got a blog there and that kind of stuff. And uh, we we decided that uh, you know a couple of loves in my life is obviously training and conditioning is a Huge love, uh, uh, you know. I know. I know. We have a very common interest there with uh, uh, the Humane Society and adopting uh, dogs and things like that. Because you, you've done that, and, and those are amazing videos. I'm actually going to use uh, one of your other videos that you had with uh, getting ready for uh, spring training stuff that you had on there with your pooch, uh, which is awesome. Right. And uh, uh, so we had a little pub crawl. We're going to raise all proceeds are going to the Oregon Humane Society. And I picked Portland because I was going up to meet a friend up there and. And it's like you know, basically the micro brew capital of the world. So uh, that's another love of mine. I love, I love the pooches and humane society, and uh, uh, beer obviously is my uh, is my big big uh, weakness. So uh, yeah, we've really done it. We've had an amazing, amazing uh, outpour of support and donations, and and, and you know we're going to be close to handing over a three thousand dollar check to them, and and then obviously a bunch of us will be up there meeting and hanging out, having a good time, and, you know, especially everybody up there, you know, in, in some way, shape, or form involved in the fitness and conditioning industry. So, yeah, that's what we got going on right now, and then, um, yeah, it's, it's fun, man. I'm having a good time.